Hey guys, Jason Moss here, and today I got another client request video for you. This client was asking how can they view all of their uh, Facebook leads um, that came in from their uh, lead form ads. Um, so they want to see all that raw data, like uh, get a CSV export, that type of thing. And most of the time, you should be sending those over to like your CRM or like an autoresponder, you know, via Zapier or some other kind of connection. Uh, but sometimes you do need to see that raw CSV and everything that's coming in. So this is how you do it. Okay. And this only applies if you're running lead form ads uh, with Facebook. Okay. Now, as you can see, you will go to your uh, Facebook business page. Okay. And there's two ways to see it. Sometimes depending on the amount of leads that you're getting, you will have uh, this up here called Lead Center, okay, Lead Center. It's actually brand new um, that Facebook has come out with and it's actually pretty cool. And then there's one other way. So first off, if you have Lead Center, you'll see it here at the top and we'll click on it here and I'll show you. All right, and once it loads here, you can see all of your leads right here inside of Leads Center. Now I can make a whole video showing you how to um, use this, but what you're here for is that CSV download. So up here in the right hand corner, you have the little down arrow, the download button. So you just hit that and it's gonna download a CSV right to your computer. Now the other way you do that, okay, is if you do not have Leads Center, okay, up here at the top under More, Okay, and you can do this from the, the home page where we just were. You're going to click on Publishing Tools. All right, once Publishing Tools pops up, over here on the left-hand side, you're going to come down here to Lead Ads, Ads Forms, and you'll see Forms Library. Click on that. All right, and this shows you the different uh, forms that you have set up for your lead form ads. So this customer here has three different forms. And you can see, well, that first one wasn't even being used. Um, and then the other ones here, we have leads populating into those, okay? So once you're on that, then you can just uh, click on download. And it gives you the option of downloading since, download the new leads since your last download, if you do this often, okay? You don't have to download the entire CSV of all the leads. Um, or if you want all of them, then you click on download by date range, make sure lifetime is selected and hit download. And it gives you the option of downloading either a CSV or an XLS file, okay? So very, very simple. Um, we can actually, now that you know how to do it in Lead Center or the publishing tools area, uh, which was, it used to be the only way you can do it. Let's go back over to Lead Center real quick and take a look at a couple of the different options that you have in here uh, just for fun, all right? Because this is pretty cool. Um, Facebook has to give you the option. Um, all the accounts that I've been using lately, it you don't get lead center until you have maybe 10 to 20 leads that have come in. And to be honest with you, I have some accounts that have 50 or 60 leads that have come in and they still don't have access to lead center. I'm not exactly sure why. I don't know if you have to reach out to Facebook support in that situation or not. I'm not sure. But once you're in here, you have a lot of different options. And I'm sorry that a lot of it is blurred out. Um, it's just I have to protect you know these customers and my client here. But you can see if I scroll down here, you'll see all the different um, leads. It gives you all the different information. It shows you which ad form they are populating on of course um, and the cool thing is you can actually do uh, kind of like a pipeline okay so if you go to i think it's right here in the settings yeah so you can do they all start as raw leads and then you can have like the middle of the funnel and you can change these to in progress interested and then like converted disqualified bad um, there's lots of different options with it and you can make like a pipeline funnel and walk them through there as you're contacting your leads and working them. So like you can see here, if you click on this in progress, interested, converted, you can archive them if they're garbage or bad leads or whatever. Um, very cool. And you'll see they they'll populate here in your pipeline. Okay. As you're moving them across. 
So uh, Lead Center is very, very cool. One of the coolest things I like about it, and I know I'm saying cool a lot, um, but one of the, the things I like the most is when you're getting leads, okay, those are your, your target customer for the most part. So you're starting out at, uh, you know, getting all these different, uh, your ads are shown to all these different people, and then you have that small group of who are responding to your leads, okay? Excuse me, responding to your ads, and those are your leads, all right? So this client here has 179. You can come up to here under audience tools, and you can create a lookalike or a custom audience directly from these leads, okay? And these are exactly who you're trying to find because they're opting into your lead form, all right? So you can click on like uh, create look like audience, all right? And then you can select them by raw leads or converted leads. Um, you know, you can do it by the different funnel steps that you do as well. Um, so that's completely up to you on how you want to do it. But all these leads right here, 179, I can make a custom look like audience off of those 179 raw leads that have come in uh, and then make new ads and run it off that look like audience, uh, which can a lot of times be better than sending it to just cold traffic. So a lot of different things that you can do with it. Lead Center is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this video was just simply just to show you how to get that CSV or the XLS download uh, directly from Lead Center. Or remember, you can do it from the publishing tools and then go to the forms library. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I hope that video helps. If this was helpful, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you get notified of my next videos. And if you got questions, please leave them down below. I am happy to answer them for you and help you out. But I will see you guys in the next video.